guys welcome back um, before I get started I'll show you a few of those metallic swipes that I did now that they're dry that was the first one that was the blue different shades of blue with the silver metallic hopefully you can see that shining so that's that one and then I did the purple one it's dried a little bit dark especially up here where the dark purple is but still really pretty and shiny where the silver's blended with the purple there it's gone this little pinky silvery shade it's really pretty so that's that one and then my favorite this one the turquoise it's turned out really nice look at that lone cell in the middle there really really pretty and I mean you don't get as good as cells with flip cups uh, sorry with these swipes as you do with the flip cups in my opinion but for a swipe they're, they're really pretty cells and then you've got this beautiful silver background in here so very happy with those and they're just on my, my cardboard they're quite thick these are 950 grams of in weight oh and you know in the last video I was making cookies here they are look at that vegan chocolate chip cookies and I had to have one I'm not going to eat all these but oh they're so good and I don't really like dark chocolate that much um, I find it's a little bit bitter but um, I'm gonna take one and break it in half for you it's so good I'm very happy with my my little baking <laughs> here today look at this it's still warm and gooey in the middle look at that so it's kind of it's more like a cookie it's sort of soft and yummy in the middle instead of hard and crunchy so yum yum I better eat this one though hadn't I I'll pop it in my mouth real quick now I better talk to you mm, yum okay so I'm gonna do another flip cup haul I'm gonna do pinks and greens I've got my cups hang on I need my cups I'm going to do, I'll do three flip and drags. So I'll move that out of the way for a minute while I spray these. Mm, we can spray here just with the silicone spray. A little bit in each. And I'll just give that a, a wipe with the paper towel. Cookie's so good. I'm gonna have to go back and eat the other half. So um, adding the little bit of extra sugars just helped combat the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Because when you're going with vegan cooking, not that I do it a lot, but um, the higher the um, concentration of cacao, um, obviously the less. Well, you don't. I don't think you have to have any cocoa butter uh, milk solids I'm not getting confused milk solids so the higher the the chocolate ratio um, is better but as you know it gets a bit bitter coffee you've got to have coffee with Vicky's don't you right so those are ready to go pouring medium is 70 grams of glue 70 grams I'm all confused now I've got chocolate on my brain 70% <laughs> glue 30% water don't feed me chocolate okay so 50 grams of pouring medium in each cup to begin with uh, this this one because I want a little bit more pink I've added an extra 20 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of paint this dark green I don't want it to take over so I've gone less 20 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of paint so that those two kind of even each other out the white I've gone 50 grams of pouring medium and only 40 grams of paint because that one's always thicker uh, hibiscus pretty much 50 50 this green I've had to go 50 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint because it was a really thin green and my dioxazine purple 50 50 really didn't really have to change that one so that's it there and treadmill silicone this is a 12 by 16 inch which is 30 by 40 centimeter so I need 550-ish grams of paint for this one. 
probably got a little bit too much here, so I might not use all of this. Um, let's see, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine will be enough. So let's do two drops in each. And in that dark green one, I think I'll just do one. I won't put any in the white. I'll put one in there. Oh, I've got two anyway. And you're going to have three because you're a bigger cup. Right. Another bite of Bicky. Yum, yum. I actually prefer it when the chocolate is um, firm, you know, when it's had a chance to cool down. But I couldn't wait. I had to get these out of the oven. And um, eat one. Actually, I haven't had breakfast yet, so coffee and cookie for breakfast. Hey, what's the time? Quarter past 11 in the morning. Mm. I don't usually have breakfast. I just have a coffee. It's not real healthy, though, is it? I sort of forget to eat when I'm pouring. So, at least I've had a coffee and a cookie, hey? That's something. So, I've gone light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. And then I want the purple next to the pink for my second row. So, that's how I've layered those. Let's start with the pink. It's funny how the plastic cup catches it on the side. Electricity of it. Static electricity. A little bit of green, the dark green. Don't want too much. I'd like the you know the dark green rings around the pink cells or vice versa. So I've just got to be careful not to go too overboard with the dark green. It, it's one of those colours that really take over. And then we'll go with the hibiscus. This is kind of a, it's kind of like magenta, but maybe a little bit more sort of a, a pinkish tone. Magenta has a slight more of a reddish tone to it, I've found. There we go. I hope these colours are okay together. Still trying to find my elusive um, meadow. You know the green meadow with the pink flowers. Been trying to achieve that for a while and getting a bit closer. The one I did before this was really pretty. Um, it seemed to have a lot of um, aqua in it. I'm not going to use the rest of that green. I think that'll be enough. What are your dogs doing? I've got dogs under my table here. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that one again, the one I did just before this one. And increase the pink and maybe even the yellow because you hardly even saw the yellow and decrease that um, turquoise, maybe the peacock. I was sort of after a more of a pinky um, painting, but it's, as I said, it's more turquoise. What are you two doing? Stop fighting. It's like kids, eh? Stop arguing with your sister. <laughs> Always arguing, aren't they, siblings? My kids are older now, though. What are they? 24, 25, and 27. So, out of that argumentative stage. Although the youngest one still gives me cheek. We're too similar. We both want to be right. <laughs> Last little bit of the dark Cezanne purple. I'm not sure how this is going to go with the greens. Hopefully it'll be all right. Sip of coffee. Hopefully it will be all right. And I've got enough of the pink to finish off a third layer of the pink. So hopefully I'll have lots of pink in this one. 
I'm hoping for pale pink, pale green, and then little pops of the darker colours. So who knows? We very rarely get what we envisage, don't we, with acrylic pouring. But then if it doesn't happen, we look at what we did and say, okay, what can I do to change it? So you add a little bit more of this and take a little bit of that out and hopefully the next time is more close to what we're after. Righto, I'll show you the colours. Uh, that is, oh, that's an old container, but that's just green light. It's called Green Light by Global. So I've got the dark green, that one's called green dark and green light. That's those two. And then we've got white. We've got the dioxazine purple, the one that I make myself. And then the dark pink is hibiscus and the pale pink is called rose. And that's for them. Just give that a minute. Well, maybe not even that. Paint's already run down. Just enough time for a, another muffin of coffee and my last little bit of cookie. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um, I think I'll do, I'll do a flip and drag to get my lines. Ready, go. Looks a bit thin. too slow so I thought I'd slow down on that one and I didn't get all the way. <laughs> and there's my purple. Okay. And that will do. You guys know what I'm going to do already, don't you? Yuck, yuck, yuck. Get rid of my cups. Um, now, do I want to torch first? Do I want to cover? I think I'll get some of this off and just cover that bottom bit first. off. And now I will torch probably too much paint because I had six colours and I did 100 grams of each so 600 whereas that 550 is usually better. I'll just have to tilt more off now. Nice and high, round and round. go for a little bit less with this pour, a little bit of less cells maybe, here we go. Oops, got a bit close there. I'm going to remember to go round and round, it doesn't like it when I just go whoosh like that in a straight line, it does not like it. Round and round is best. Oh, too close. Here am I saying I don't want so many. Alright, I'll just let that sit for a minute while I have some more coffee and think about those cells are doing. I'm going to have to get this off. See, I've told you guys a million times, don't pour that extra bit down the side and then I go and do it. Only because you get this beautiful blended edge there and it's all blended and then you get blended and then you get stripes like that. You don't get the blended so that's probably going to have to go. I don't mind that little green corner. It can stay, matches the green up here. It's 
not very it's not very pink hey purples really quite dominant this is where you go again you reduce your your purple I'm going to reduce the dark green I can see a little bit of it popping through anyway let's see what it looks like once we've tilted I'll try and get some of this off the side Turn it around so I can tilt away from me. Still need to get that stripe off. I don't like that stripe. I'm gonna hang on to my push pins, but I need to try and straighten everything out a little bit if I can. Okay, off you go, paint. Why am I going so fast? Slow down, Julie. Um, now I need to come back to the middle and going all crooked. I'm not concentrating. I'm going way too fast. Slow down. Concentrate on what you're doing, woman. Straighten up your lines. No rush. I need to go over to this side here a little bit. down. Wow, it's very purple. Now I need to get back to that corner. Come back. I kind of lost my straight lines, but that's, that's okay. I really wanted to open up these cells and make them bigger. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Now this needs to open up more too. Mm, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm going to just have to leave it. Well, that purple's really taken over, hey? I was really expecting more of the pale pink. I've got so much of the pale pink. Now this mix looked a little bit too thin for me. Dogs, what are you doing? Shut the door. Oi. Um, I don't know what set them off. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm not really sure what to make of this. Let's just do the corners. I guess maybe these weren't really a, a good pairing for colours. Green and purples, hey. Maybe, as I said, or reduce the, reduce the purple next time. What do I need on this corner? Oh, let's pop some purple on there. Let's put the paint on and let it run down on its own. Wipe underneath. And last corner. Some big cells though, haven't I? Let's put some dark purple. Oops. Some dark purple on that corner there. And add a little bit just on the side there as well. That hasn't gone over all the way. I like the size of the cells. Uh, I do think that my mix must have been a little bit on the thin side. I'm just going to take some of this off here. Yeah, go on, you can go too. Off you go. Alright, come back. 
No, I probably shouldn't have done that, should I? Because these are all overstretched now. Rightio, balloon dip. But before I do that, I'll torch again, just in some of these blank areas. I don't know why my mix was a bit thin. Um, I know the green was a lot thinner than usual. Well, green always have to add more paint. Um, I don't know, maybe I just wasn't in the mood to paint. You have to be in the mood to paint, don't you? I just really didn't try that hard with this one. Let's do some balloon dippings and see if we can get some colour up because, yeah, the green and purple together, it's just not doing it for me. I sort of like this bit here, the nice and bright, but here it's overstretched and it's muddy, so let's pop you in there. And in here as well. paint on here. See how it's dripping off in the centre? Still a lot of paint. Uh, yeah, it looks as if it's just too too thick. Uh, sorry, too thin. Still got heaps on here. The other thing is too, if I've got too much paint, as I said, I only really needed about 550. I probably ended up with 650. And that extra 100 grams, it, it does make a difference. It really does. That'll do. I'm going to leave that corner there. That's pretty. And let's so go again, try and get some extra paint off the surface. You can see there's still quite a lot. The paint's running back onto itself. way too much as I'm pushing the balloon down the paints coming up the side of the balloon there's a heap of paint on here okay well let's leave it at that hey and I will just stay away from green and purple <laughs> okay I will take you in for a close-up see the paint's dripping off the side there still so yeah it's way too thin constant and still dripping which my paint shouldn't keep dripping that much after I've run my knife around it doesn't usually do that do I want to do another one I can't think I'm, I want to do another one here mm, I'll leave it because I haven't got from there either so it kind of balances it out this is more okay I'll put that one down to a failed pour, but I'll put it up anyway. You guys can see what different colours do to each other. And purples and greens are not really that good together. There we go. That's about as close as I can get. Jump. All right. I'm not even going to bother taking the camera down there because I'm probably going to scrape this one and start again. Um, I, I still would like to have another go at these colours, so I'll reduce the dioxazine purple increase the pink because it's a bit muddy isn't it all right thanks for watching at least you got to see my cookies that's something isn't it all right i'll see you for the next one bye for now